Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on uh, Hagrid's Hut from 2001. So on the front of the booklet, see that uh, kind of nice border that is just like the is a corridor of Hogwarts, of course, and and a couple times Hag or Dumbledore holding Norbert, of course, and the pic it all opened up, of course, and picture of the set that there is set number 4707 and lego logo older harry potter logo of course on the back add for the, the pc cd rom creator game and also a couple of alternate builds which are just three four steps there's a windmill and also have two small things to it and also uh Whole entire, uh, also a little, uh, what is it called, a campfire, of course. And then also just a simple alternate build, no steps to it, and just has a little tower. And also the last step. So, first main thing is the early version of Hagrid, of course. So, of which are quite different than most minifigs, uh, obviously, since he, of course, is a little bit specifically shaped, of course, like a little bit taller than most minifigs, since he is, of course, a tall character, obviously. But if compared to the newest uh, 20, uh, 1820s versions, where just a tiny bit uh, shorter of which, and also different uh, shape for the beard, hair, hair, hair beard combo piece. And which, if we look, take that off, you can see it does have some all right. The front print, of course, and the uh, face print kind of unique to it. And of course, this is soft rubber, but unlike the newer ones, they are which are solid plastic, of course. And if I and attach the head to it. And you see the neck, which is kind of different than most minifig necks. And same with the troll and the troll on the loose set, of course. But unlike the newer versions, which do have regular minifig necks, and also for the uh, hands, which do have uh, fingers to them, unlike other minifigs, which just don't, and a little pocket detailing to the sides. and. The feet of which can fit up onto four studs, so it can't move at all. Same with the newer version, which does have regular minifig legs, of course. But anyways, but now on to Dumbledore, which came in about a couple of sets, Hogwarts Castle and uh, also uh, Dumbledore's Office the following year, of course. So. This was the cheap alternative to get him. And if I like, maybe a hand and half and half. And get a good view of him without any of that. He has some unique face print, and he wears the. Um, this uh, torso print, leg print, done quite good, and let's see. Not on the back torso print since it's an older figure, of course. But although, of course, the. Oh, whoops. But of course, both the uh, beard and hair do kind of make good coverage for that. But besides that, the torso prints of which can be used with some custom mini figs and things, uh, obviously. Now, on to the main builds. Right, first of which, for a side build, is we get the little cart like build to it, which of course does have a regular lantern piece in those rigid bricks, of course, and wheels from older castle sets, of course. But, and also one of them odd uh, things there. Probably has an extra handle to it, of course. But 
and then also get this little trap or little trap thing in the back corner. Do you get the rack piece in white, which is nice to get, and also just a bunch of regular pieces with those plant pieces aside. And of course, like a bar piece in brown and the spider piece in translucent orange, quite nice. But the main feature is if you pull this thing here and closes it up and contract it, of course. Once over with those, but now on to Hagrid's hut itself, See, of which quite uh, different than other versions that there were over time. Because one thing that stands out is this uh, thick cardboard roof piece, but which unlike other versions, they were multiple pieces, but kind of feels like the a small girl sets that there were at the time which used this material for a backdrop of course probably just to lower the price point and things but at least there's something they didn't do anymore but if as you saw in the alternate bills they didn't use this at all so at least that was a good thing good for them but although as said in just a goods review is Putting this rubber band on and getting them all together is just a major pain. But if we remove that, then it kind of jumbles a little. But anyway, for the rest, as for the rest of it, it's kind of all right. So like some good panel pieces, like those which do have some good prints to them, and also from the back part of which has that regular castle uh, corner piece to it and a lot of the green jagged slopes of which representing you know, the ridges getting all mossed over and all but of course they did fix that with the other versions but if and it's just like the spongebox pineapples house sets where you can open it op up and then have good plenty of interior space of course like over here is the little door section that you can use huh? in those a little barrel that has both this a little pickaxe as well as the fabuland axe piece which the older Gamorian guards and star borders also had so a little flame there and also a rack of a couple of, of jars and a cup and the keep these. Also, uh, hang on. The key pieces in gold or chrome gold, of which quite cool. And chrome is what Lego like, doesn't seem to do anymore, but nice to have it here, of course. So get the older style owl piece in tan, very nice. And for this, and also get a little hiding section where you Lift this down and get a little uh, book piece to it. And with print, even with printings on the spine, quite impressive. You flip this open, and of course, the old style, which many people have grown quite fond of, obviously. You can find it like that. And as for the little fireplace, with which unlike on the last two versions of which do have a light brick to light it up of course but this and the 2004 versions don't have that of course but an interesting thing is if, let me turn this down see that flame and if you turn the chimney back here and it reveals Norbert well it's which is a little dragon piece which was used in often in some other sets, but it fits perfectly for Norbert. So that's quite nice. Although on other versions, they kind of use the just the egg piece symbolizing the egg that Norbert bursts out of. And let's see if we can get the uh, roof to fit in again. And ha, works just fine.
So maybe it was just a good experience for fitting it in or whatever. Or like with the folds and all. But at least on this corner, it kind of does so. But the rest of which, just fine. Oh, and also one thing that this set, which kind of lacks in is another whole other uh, section of it, like the 2019 version kind of did, but all of that would have bumped the price up for, to like 40 from $30 that this was. That's the idea. So on to the final verdict on this. Overall, this I think is a pretty good version of Hagrid's Hunt. Like, of course, well, despite the odd paper or cardboard roof piece that there is, and also the lack of a second section of it, nor a pumpkin patch. But this was before Prisoner of Azkaban was out and all. So at least they kind of had to rely on its appearance in the other, or first two, of course. But also, Good to have both Hagrid and Dumbledore in a cheap set, and of course representing when hatching Northbird, obviously. And as you saw, Owl, Peace, and Tam, which is of course nice to have and all. So, so, so even though it may not hold up, but I can forgive it for how it came out and all. And yeah. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say truly go ahead and pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video, and thanks for watching.